Hey everybody, I am going to show you how to use chalk pastels to create a space phenomena landscape today. Um, to do this, you're going to use a piece of black paper. We're using black because we want to give the illusion that we are working in, that our artwork is happening at night. And black works really well with chalk pastel. It's really, um, the chalk really pops off of that dark background. Uh, you will have at your disposal some chalk pastels. They are similar to oil pastels in that they are really vibrant and they have lots of color, but unlike oil pastels, they are chalky, which is why they're called chalk pastels. Um, you can choose to do any kind of space phenomena for your project that you want. You could do a realistic space thing like the Aurora Borealis, or you could create a battle of spaceships from Star Wars or Star Trek, or really, honestly, truly anything. Um, as long as you look like you are standing on Earth and you are viewing a scene, a space scene through buildings or trees or whatever your project will look really awesome so um first i'm going to show you how to do a um <laughs> how to just freehand draw it with chalk pastel and then i'm going to show you how to use a mask to block areas out so i for this first one am going to do the death star now the death star as we all know is a sphere so just like any form that you might use, you want to create the look that it is three dimensional and you're gonna do that with lines mostly here. Now the key to using chalk pastel is to really keep your hands out of it when you don't want your hands to be involved. For example, you might've noticed that my hand when I made, created that circle was all the way up. If I laid my hand down on the paper and drug it across, I would smudge everything that I was doing. And that is one of the things that's kind of cool and terrible at chalk, about chalk pastels. It's cool because if you want to smudge it, you can, and it's terrible because if you don't want to smudge it, it's really easy and it can really mess you up. So I am using chalk pastels here. So I'm going to create a circle for my death ray. And I'm adding some lines in here that are going to help me make this look really three-dimensional the Death Star has have you ever noticed how that line down the middle of the Death Star is kind of just flat I don't know what that's about if that was like a George Lucas trick of perspective but those lines tend to be really flat down the middle and I'm creating my sections on my Death Star I'm going really fast. You're probably gonna to wanna to take your time a little bit more. And then the Death Star has lights and stuff on it because it has, um, you know, it's a big hub for different spaceships to land on. Now, if you wanna leave your chalk pastel rough like this, you totally can, but you can also take your finger and smooth it out. So that is up to you, however you wanna do that. I think I'm gonna smooth it out in some places and leave it rough in others. All right, I'm gonna use some red for some dots. And you wanna make sure that you cover your entire background. So that means I'm going to go in and I'm not gonna leave this area back here black. I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna add in some dark blue just to give my background some color. And um, that covered up my little smudge that mistake that I made over there. All right, and then I'm gonna smooth it in and I'm actually kind of dusting it off as I smooth it in because I don't want it to be really blue. I want it to look like the night sky, but I also want to get rid of some of that black. All right, so there is my space phenomena. Now I'm going to add in my landscape because remember we're on earth viewing the space phenomena. I could do buildings, I could do trees, I could do mountains. Um, what my 
what my landscape is really not important. The important thing is, is that you're using a black oil pastel. Remember how I said that chalk pastel was really flaky? Oil pastel sticks really well. And we're gonna do oil pastel on top of this so that we can tell that there's a clear difference between the silhouette of the landscape and the chalk pastel background. So I'm actually going to do mountains and I'm just gonna draw my mountains right on there. And I'm gonna cover up part of my Death Star and then I'm gonna color in everything that's mountain and I'm just doing it straight black because it is a silhouette and a silhouette is like a dark shadow of the thing that you're looking at. If I wanted to, I could go back in and I could add snow caps on my mountains. I should use an oil pastel for that. Even though we're doing a silhouette, you can always make it your own. So I'm going to make this my own by adding some snow caps. It doesn't have to be dark, just so that we can tell that there's a little bit of light up on those mountains. All right, and you can also smudge oil pastels with your fingers a little bit. All right, there is my landscape with the Death Star with some mountains in front of it. Now, remember I said there was another way that you could do this, so that was freehand drawing. So this next way that you can do this is with using a mask. Now, a mask is just where you take something and you cover up your page so that you um, can draw and not draw everywhere. So I'm gonna do the Aurora Borealis. For this one and the Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights, there's lots of greens and blues. So I'm going to grab some greens and blues and I'm going to start off just at the bottom and I'm just going to create some color. All right, then I'm going to take my mask and I'm going to put it right over what I just did. And I'm going to add some more color and you can see when I take my mask off I've got this line the aurora borealis the northern lights is like a really curvy bright line that you see in the sky it's got something to do with the sun hitting the earth's atmosphere I'm not really sure I am not a scientist all right so there is my Aurora Borealis, and I can even add in some detail, a little bit of green along that edge. I can go back in and I can freehand it a little bit after I've got it in there, but. All right, and now I'm gonna add in some trees. And I'm just gonna show myself, like the trees are gonna be about in here, and then I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna add my trees to make them look really nice. And again, you don't have to do mountains or trees. You could do houses if you would rather your space phenomena be happening in the city. If you wanted it to be like the day the earth stood still instead of, I don't know, just the woods. All right, so there's my Aurora Borealis with my trees in the foreground. So that is one of your options for your space project if you wanted to do something like this.